what i eat in a day that's a trending topic these days in many social media platforms like youtube and facebook where celebrities and famous people are sharing about what they eat in a day does it really matter what you eat in a day can food actually prevent the occurrence of diseases especially cancer can food make a cancer patient or a cancer survivor feel better feel healthy the answer to all these questions is yes about 35% of cancers are caused by a poor food and a poor lifestyle so let's say if 100 patients get cancer around 35 of them around one third of them is due to a improper diet and lifestyle so i am dr dana karam assistant professor of medicine here today to talk about how food can be one's medicine and help you against the fight against cancer So if you ask me tell me in one sentence what is the best thing to follow to prevent cancer it's a plant based whole food diet with plenty of physical activity this is a single term but it's a very loaded term so in my subsequent videos i'll be going into detail to each of them and making them into simple day to day tips and tricks that you can incorporate into your daily life without a big deal and get the best possible uh, prevention against cancer so let's talk more about a plant based diet so when you say plant based every one of us are thinking about fruits and vegetables right so yes consuming more fruits and vegetables in your everyday diet is the key so when i say vegetables immediately don't think about your banana fries or your potato chips they though they are made from potatoes and bananas they are processed food and they are not considered like plant based so consuming fruits and vegetables in their fresh form natural form with not like overcooking them over processing them and what is available locally local sourced and consuming them fresh is the key in the plant based diet can cauliflower help prevent cancer yes so cauliflower belongs to a group of vegetables called the cruciferous vegetables and these vegetables are rich in vitamins minerals especially things called beta carotene and other minerals which help prevent developing cancer so what are other vegetables that come in the cruciferous group are uh, cabbage broccoli brussels sprouts kale radish turnip so these are all cruciferous vegetables so we almost say that incorporating one cruciferous vegetable as a part of your diet daily gives you maximum protection against cancer and cruciferous vegetables can also be taken by cancer patients when they are undergoing treatment for cancer in terms of surgery chemotherapy or radiotherapy because of their antioxidant and anti-inflammatory benefits one thing to note is people with thyroid problems especially if you are taking thyroid medications or you have thyroid concerns definitely check with your doctor for incorporating lot of cruciferous vegetables in your diet because these cruciferous vegetables can interfere with your thyroid hormone levels so that is something to watch for but otherwise incorporating plenty of cruciferous vegetables in your diet is a best way to fight against cancer especially cancer of the breast lung stomach and prostate We all know carrots help with seeing better in the dark but can carrots actually prevent the development of cancer Yes so carrots again belong to a group of vegetables called carotenoid vegetables and these again have lot of beta carotenes and other vitamins in them and that helps prevent cancer so what are some other carotenoid vegetables are the beta carotin actually the vegetables that are rich in beta carotene it gives them the bright colors the bright oranges the bright reds the bright uh, yellows and bright greens those are all vegetables high in beta carotene so those are vegetables like Like your sweet potatoes, your pumpkins, uh, your peppers, your squash, and these vegetables also have anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties that help you fight against cancer. And these vegetables can also be consumed by cancer patients and cancer survivors as they are undergoing treatment to help feel them uh, help them feel better.
what is the relation between spices and foods of flavor and cancer so spices especially turmeric has been used in india for many years and it has something called curcumin which helps prevent cancer cell growth and it's a biggest uh, magic uh, substance that protects you against cancer and recently a lot of research is happening in the western world to study about turmeric and its effects in preventing cancer so incorporating turmeric in your diet especially around two teaspoons of turmeric is definitely a biggest protector against cancer and other spices and flavorful foods like garlic onion adding them again naturally to your diet is the best way to go rather than taking a supplement and these foods definitely have lot of anti-inflammatory properties that definitely help prevent cancer What is the relationship between whole foods and cancer? So when I say whole foods, consuming whole grains in their natural, less processed form help definitely prevent the development of cancer. So when I say like less processed, like if you take rice, the brown rice is less processed when compared to white rice. So consuming brown rice or things like oatmeal, barley, quinoa and like millets. India is a land of millets. So consuming things like your ragi, sorghum um, and in Tamil they'll call it like kambal, kale, varagu. Those are all like natural foods in their whole grain um, like format without processing and consuming them in a daily basis also helps prevent cancer. How can fruits prevent the development of cancer? So again, fruits, especially brightly colored fruits like apples, oranges, your berries and bananas, again have lots of vitamins and minerals and have a lot of antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties which can help prevent the development of cancer. They are also beneficial to be taken by cancer patients and cancer survivors. And another thing that fruits does is add fiber to your diet which also helps improve your gut microbiome which is also also shown to play a prevention especially in gut cancers like colon cancer as well. Mm -hmm.